Well, greetings. This is Trev from OnlinePCLearning.com. In our previous tutorial, we looked at a little bit of code and a naming convention that enabled us to create a user form and a subsequent database in just minutes. This was the first tutorial and a very small piece of code that just loops through once we name these controls with the right names. We're able to very quickly add data through to a database. Very easy, very easy to use. Then we had a look at Taking that a little bit further, adding some options where we're going to clear the fields and check for names and check for duplicates, that was in this little project that we put together. Well, I used part of this project with this user form to show how we can use 20 different controls and also run all those checks on them, add it to the database. And I mentioned at the end of that tutorial that if there was some interest, I would show you how to do it with multiple controls and multiple lines. And that's what this tutorial is about. So we're going to call a user form. The user form will add multiple values. And I'll show you how to adapt the original, the first piece of code to do this in just minutes. It is so simple. You will not believe the number of controls on here is 36. You'll be able to set this up in just a few minutes. So follow along, I'll show you how to do it. I'll, get, I'll show you a test first of all. We'll add some values to these controls and then add them to a database. Now here's the user form that you'll be able to create very quickly and you can use any control that uh, will hold data. And what we want to do is take this row and add it into one line, the next row into the next line, the next row into the next line and so on. And we want to do that with a minimal amount of code. Well, does it work? Well, look, yes, it does. And we would normally clear the, the form now, but you could just keep adding if you wanted. Very simple. I'll show you the code that runs it. I'll show you how to set the user form up. So just follow along. This is a brief tutorial. It won't take long. Well, the first thing to do is to op open the Visual Basic Editor, Alt and F11, to get through to the Visual Basic Editor. Go in, insert, and choose User Form, and insert a user form. From the toolbox, start adding your controls. In this, I've added combo box, a combo box. They're in a frame, but you don't need to put them in a frame. Combo box, combo box, text box, text box. You could use option buttons or tech, tick boxes. You'll get true or false for those. Uh, and just put them across here, as many as you want. I've got six by six, and I'd suggest for the basis of this uh, demonstration that you do just that. Now, what I want to show you is how I've named these controls, the same naming convention as we used previously. So I'll put this to the left here, to the right here. Look at the name up here, AREC1, AREC2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, BREC1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. C rec one and then D, E and F. So the naming convention is A rec one through to six, B rec one through to six, C rec one through to six, and so on. Very consistent naming, and with that, we're able to use code to loop through and make the changes we need. Also, after you add those controls, put in two command buttons. One is going to be called CMD add, and the other will be CMD close me, or whatever you want to call that. I've also put in a label here. You can do that if you wish. But if you're just testing it, that's probably not necessary. Now let's have a look at how we've modified the code and how it, we're going to loop through all of these independently. It's really quite simple. Let's go and have a look. So here's the code. You'll notice this time we put our dimension, our variables as a what's called a private scope or a module level scope. We put the variables, declared them up here above the procedure, which means that the values in the variable are going to be held in memory during the whole time that this module is open. So what we do, you'll notice here's our piece of code before, and we had in here the variable ref, and we just put ref one, two, three, four. Well, this time we're setting a variable for that. When it's called a rec, the next time we're changing that variable to BREC, to CREC. So we're just putting that in here. It's called RF. And what we do then is we change the variable, run the macro, change the variable, run the macro, change the variable, run the macro. And all that does is just goes through one line, second line, third line, and adds all those values sequentially one under another. Very, very simple. Look at how small that amount of code is for the work it's doing, 36 controls. And of course, you can add to this if you want all of the other bells and whistles that we put into the second tutorial where we check for duplicates and that. That would just simply be part of this code here. So it's, it's ever so simple. And the key is that we're just looping through and we're assigning a variable 
for x equals 1 to, to c num, and c num up here is 6, so we've got 6, six um, controls in each row, and then we just loop through the row. And we just, here we go, a rec 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, b rec 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, c rec 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, d rec, and so on. It's so simple. I'm sure you'll enjoy doing this. Have some fun playing around with it. Save you a lot of time. And particularly if you're using a user form that had masses of controls, this is the way to do it, and this is the way to do it quick. Well, this is Trev from OnlinePCLearning.com. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.